Hi, I'm John Perkins from Hudson. Today we're going to go over setting a combine for canola. Very first thing we need to do is set our drive chain to our 26 tooth sprocket right here. Moving back to the feed accelerator, for canola we want it set in the high gear. But what that means is you look at your sticker right here, which is a legend of low and high speeds. So we want to be on the rabbit, which is the high speed. So it is the smaller driver in the front toward the front of the machine and the bigger driver in the back toward the rear of the machine. While we're adjusting our feed accelerator speed, this is a good time to look at your stone trap door and your clean out door. We do want to make sure that it is absolutely free of debris. Any small gap um, debris or anything in the door allowing any kind of gap, you will lose a lot of canola seed right here underneath the throat of the machine before it gets the chance to go through the, the actual combine. 780 and 790s or 680s and 690s, the larger frame machines, has the rethresher. We want to make sure that in canola we're using the small grain setting uh, and that is pictured by the wheat emblem here. Anything else, corn, soybeans, we would want to be in the corn position. The most important part in a combine is going to start right here in the concave. Now for canola we're going to recommend the small wire concaves. Um, that's through John Deere, or you do have other brands and options there, um, like Condex, for an example. It is important to level and zero and level your concave. If you do not do this correctly, you do not know where you're currently setting it when you set your concave clearance in the display. Follow the operator's manual to know how to zero and level the concave. One thing I wanted to point out here would be our separator grate covers. Now in this machine, we have three rows of four in our separator grate covers. That is designed to allow the free grains away from the wall and drop into the middle of the machine. The centrifugal force of the rotor is going to push the grain and the free grains to the outside edges and we want to keep them in the center of the machine. Our separator grate spacers are in a storage position. They are on top. Now for corn and soybeans they would be in, this, in the middle position. Uh, for wheat and canola we stick them on the top in the storage position. For canola we run a relatively so, slow rotor speed. We want to keep this in first gear, so you want to make sure that you put it in first gear, then you may have to rotate the actual rotor drive itself to get it to go into gear. We want it in first gear because our ranges are about 350 to 550 when, when harvesting canola. One of the most detrimental settings of a combine when dealing with canola is our cleaning fan. Our cleaning fan spec is around 600 to 900 RPMs, which a lot of times you'll probably run into the lower 600s um, for canola unless you're dealing with a lot higher moisture. Next two settings we're going to talk about is our chaffer and sieve, also known as the top screen and the bottom screen. The chaffer needs to be a general purpose chaffer. So if you have a deep tooth chaffer, you may need to look into getting the general purpose in order to swap it over for canola. The general purpose chaffer clearance is going to be 10 to 14, and then our sieve clearance is going to be that 2 to 5. Now it is very detrimental to when you're setting the chaffer and sieve to make sure that they have been calibrated. So they are calibrated to a five millimeter gap. So I use an Allen wrench, a five millimeter Allen wrench to, to calibrate my top and bottom screens. The next thing I want to go over is our dual zone chaffer. So at the very back, the last foot of the top screen is a manual adjustment. So John Deere uses that as an air throttle and to control the amount of air and back pressure that we put on the top and bottom screen. So we want to make sure that that is a five millimeter gap standard. So we want to make your manual adjustment at five millimeters. If you run the dual zone chaffer too open, you will get excess tailings. And if you run it too close, you will lose a lot of excess grain off the back and right into the tailboard. Today we went over the settings for setting a canola crop for an S. 7 900 John Deere combine. Now some of these settings may be different for your machine. You please reference the operator's manual, the equipment mobile app, or reach out to one of us at Hudson and we'll be glad to help you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.